let's go neon beautiful neon colors guys and if you guessed it yes i'm using crafters paint in today's pour so the paint i'm using they're the value brand paint by deco art their lowest value paint and i tested out with the neon colors and i got beautiful result check it out guys you're gonna love it hello everyone it's camille welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today i'll be doing another beautiful puddle pour cell technique and um, i'm using crafters paint by deco art so there you have it green blue um, orange yellow and of course neon pink and the black paint that i showed you earlier that I'll be pouring over the colors that is um, the black by artist love yes and I'll also be using purple <laughs> so those are my colors for today of course you can always go ahead and check out the name in the description box below all right guys you can always go ahead and check that out and of course for the consistency of the paint you don't want to make it too thin or too thick if it's too thin I figured that the cells will come out a little bit too big and uh, if it's too thick the colors won't really pop through the black paint well that's that's my theory all right um if you guys are in the us and if you guys do have access to the flow troll use it you guys will get great results i have never used that product i'm living here in canada and i just went to lowe's and picked up um the wagner paint conditioner because they don't sell the, the flood flow troll and um, they told me at the store that this paint conditioner is just as good so i used it guys it's more liquidy than the um than the flood flow troll because i find when i'm watching other artists using the, the flow troll it's thick right but with the paint conditioner that i use it's a little bit thinner so that's why i use one-to-one -one ratio and you know it's gonna make the paint a little bit more uh thinner so you just guys just adjust i just adjust i'm giving you basically i'm giving you approximate um how i mix my paint hopefully i'll do a mixing video one day in the future all right guys just, just stay tuned and um check it out hopefully in the future just you know of course you have to you know hit the bell and um so that you're notified each time i post a new video and you guys would always be updated um when i'm gonna do like a mixing video right <clears throat> So here I am just layering my colors and then I will be pouring the Artist Loft Black over the colors and uh, I did mix my black paint a little bit just a little bit thinner than my colors I, uh, I find that if the black paint is too thin also it will get the cells a little bit too big right so it's knowing the right consistency guys I am really playing around with this i'm experimenting and you know i find that using the deco art brand um colors it really gives me great results and i'm so happy to share this the lowest brand paint i actually bought it for a dollar fifty the four ounce bottle a dollar fifty at our dollar store here in canada so maybe you guys can get the same crafted paint in the us or you know you guys um, check some other stores or you know it depends on get where you guys are uh you know just try some of the lower brand paint you don't have to go expensive you know so this is one of the reasons why i really wanted to show you guys you know you, you do you can get great result using lower brand paint all right because i know the fluid art is very expensive the products cost a lot and of course when you do a pour and if you don't like it you're gonna want to scrape it you know so i'm just here to share my experience guys and i do hope you know i can inspire someone to try this paint and i'm not an affiliate with deco art <laughs> but 
I'm just testing out the products guys and it worked okay so I do hope you love this one give me a thumbs up if you do and of course share this video with your friends and family and for my new viewers if you haven't subscribers yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, hit the bell hit all so that you're notified each time I post a new video I really do appreciate every single one of you guys and um, yeah stay tuned for the close-up of the wet result and the dried result don't go away let me quickly mention also to guys that uh, the size canvas that I'm using is a 12 by 12 inch canvas and those small cups that I was using those are five ounce cups and I was using six colors right um, and there were approximately one ounce of color in each cup so yeah the black paint that I used I it was in a six you know, nine ounce cup and I didn't fill it all the way to the top so I know guys you, you know what I do mix extra because you know I rather be safe than sorry so I'm still feeling it how much paint I need for my techniques for the you know how I do it because you know these are smaller canvas and if I want to go big I know that's where the challenge is too right working on the bigger canvas and getting the, the precise amount of paint but this is how I do it I just you know measure I use the cups and I mix like certain ounces in the cups all right guys so I do hope that might help I did get questions on in my Facebook um, people ask me question how much paint do I use so it's all an estimate guys it's approximation I just you know so I do hope that help all right so I just measure by the cups I just use the cups mix the paint sometimes I even fold the cup and I don't use all the colors in the cups you know I do have leftovers because you do feel the paint right I don't know if I'm making sense <laughs> but anyways guys this is um I'm waiting right now for the cells to develop I just did the pour the black over the colors and the cells are popping through and I'm really happy with it and I'm gonna go ahead of course and clean the edges because you know you don't want it to pull the, um, the design off the top while it's dripping so you do clean the edges that's very important okay and then when I torch the torching helps to um, pop the colors through the black and it also helps to brighten the colors while it's you know the heat helps to bring the colors out so do enjoy the video guys and yeah I'll see you for the close-up of the wet result so here I am torching now guys okay see the torch and while I'm torching you can see that those little small cells are popping through the black this is why I'm saying it's important to torch if you can right and those small cells they are gonna develop big as well you know so torching is important it's very good if you can if you do have a torch try that This portion of the video is sped up times eight. I didn't want to make this too long, guys, because it does take a while for the cells to develop. It took me like, you know, 10 to 15 minutes extra time just to get the cells, just to wait on the cells to fully develop and all that. So, you know, I sped it up, right? So, yeah, here's a close up of the wet result coming up. Here it is, the close-up of the wet result. The colors, oh my goodness. Guys, can I tell you how much 
I am so in love with this and the way I pour the paint this was an idea that I had in my mind I want to get like a, a spirally looking you know I just wanted the design to look the way it's looking right now pretty much I achieve what I had in my mind I knew I lost some of the green on the opposite side like the green right there but it's fine you know the green did mix with the yellow and it's beautiful but I wanted to separate the colors a bit because I you know this is all neon colors and I just wanted to show you know a solid orange some green some yellow I just wanted to pop a little bit more I do hope you guys love it because I am just I love it guys you know using cheap paint to get great results i'm happy honestly i'm very happy so i do hope you guys love it and i do hope that you will give this a try and of course let me know find me on instagram find me on facebook guys and um tag me um ask me some questions of course you can always comment in the comment section below let me know what you guys think about this one and of course share this video with your friends and family if you do love it that's how i keep my channel growing and stuff like that so it's free do it guys and yeah stay tuned for the close-up of the dried result here is a dried result listen guys as an artist i gotta say and doing the fluid art you have to keep your fingers crossed you want your work to dry just as beautiful as how it looked when it was wet you know that's one of our greatest achievements when we do a pour we really want to make sure that hey it dried just as beautiful so hey i'm happy with this one it's um it's a bit matte it's just a flash from my camera that's picking up the colors there's no varnish on it no resin but if i do resin this wow it's gonna be like so amazing i do hope you guys love it and i do hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and of course check out my playlist guys and subscribe if you haven't done so as yet i really do appreciate it this will help to keep my channel growing and of course, I will see you guys next time on Camila Moy Art. Bye.